what it do what it do it's your boy supreme man look i'm back with another banger and look i appreciate all the love everybody showed me on my first video man i appreciate that all the comments so i had to come through with something else um this build i like running it when i'm farming the open world um global events um it's it's, it's hella efficient um it makes breezing through content you know it makes everything easier all right check me out this is the one shot one kill bill now i'm gonna start from the top i'm gonna break it down y'all just follow me now with the specialization we're going with the sharpshooter and the reason behind that is it because it gives us the 15 percent increased headshot damage since we stacking as much headshot damage and marksman rifle damage on the build as possible it's just perfect for that um, along with the 15% increased weapon stability and the flashbang which is good um, also you get the digital scope now you want to make sure you got the rifle damage turned on so you have access to the digital scope um, also make sure you got your marksman rifle damage turned on as well now if you want to run five directives, it's perfect for that as well. I usually run four because I don't like the Pistolero one. But if you want to run that one, you can with this specialization because it gives you round after round. After 20 and seconds in cover, after 20 seconds in cover, you start generating five marksmen and five rifle ammo every 10 seconds. So when you come out the safe house and you run up to a control point, just take cover stay in cover at the 20 seconds you're gonna start generating ammo so that's simple that's how you get around the pistolero all right now for the weapons i'm going with the sr1 now the sr1 is by far my favorite sniper to use um just because it just feels right to me now you have a lot of different options with the snipers um most of them got a buff this last update but this one just feels right to me it's my favorite one to use now we got 1.4 mil on it we got the 60 rpm 10 round mag um, I got mine the expertise 20 but it still hits hard regardless so you don't really have to worry about the expertise too much um, the reload time is 2.2 which is great and we running the talent determined after killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. Alright, so after you get that first initial headshot kill, the next shot you hit an enemy with, no matter where you hit them at, on the body, the arm, leg, toe, it's going to count as a headshot. And it's been a lot of debate and discussion about Determine since it came in the game. You know, everybody's saying that it's broken, it's OP, it's need to be nerfed, and it is broken, it is OP. <laughs> That's what make it fun to play with, you know what I'm saying? That's what makes it fun to play with, man. Um, the perfect version already got a nerf. They nerfed the perfect um, determine, I think it, it, it after the first headshot, the next one landed on the enemy will give you a guaranteed crit headshot but you can't chain kill with it they nerfed that part of it i mean i think that's what people want them to do to this regular version of it but i find it okay um because you can't one shot kill everything it's certain things like the robots or the heavy gunners from the true sons the dudes with the helmets the lmg guys that lay down with the machine guns you can't hit you can't one shot them um the crackheads the hyenas that run around chasing you with the batons so it's not like it's just one shot and everything in the game it's not like like broken like that but it is op it definitely is op and it's hella fun to play with um but you gotta know what you can use it on and what you can't use it on like I just was telling y'all that's why it's good to have a good secondary um, in case you get into situations like that well you know one of those crackheads running up on you I like running the Scorpio because you know 
it gives me a way to defend myself in close range um but yeah but back to the snipers man yeah um i go with the sr1 now like i said you got options with the snipers um if we look at them the next best one would probably be the model 700 now if we compare the base damage the model 700 is at 499.4 while the sr1 is at 461.4 now the model 700 it's the hardest hitting sniper it's gonna give you the most damage you see right here it's um it's like plus 35k compared to the sr1 but with that said it has a lot of drawbacks to it that's why i don't like using it um uh, for one the rpm is slower the magazine is lower and the reload time is hella slow it's 4.9 man it's, it's hella slow and that's what i don't like about the model 700 but if you want to run that that's fine um you know you got to play around with them and kind of find which one you like the best but that's the next best one the next one would be the white death now with the white death if you look at the base damage it's 423.1 um Let's compare it to the SR1. Now, if we compare it to the SR1, it's at 423.1. The SR1 is at 464.4. The RPM is at 55. The mag is 5. But the benefit for the white death is it gives you that additional headshot damage. So that's where this gun gives you the benefit that's where it shines at the additional headshot damage and if you was to put the digital scope on it that's another 45 percent and if we check the stats we had 372 percent headshot damage that's insane i think that's the most you can get in the game like i'm not sure but that's the highest i didn't seen it um, if anybody know how to get it higher then just let me know but 372 is crazy um, but that's possible with the white death and the digital scope but um, I like running with the SR1 that's just my personal preference my favorite and if you notice in the clips I wasn't using a scope I don't use the scope either I use the accuracy sight on my snipers um, because I my play style I like to run around I'm more aggressive you've seen in some clips I was running around sometimes I'm sitting back but this site I just find it more comfortable for me to use compared to the scope um, now if you like running with the scopes that's fine you can run the digital scope that's gonna give you the plus 45 um, headshot damage and, and that's an option that's a bonus for you right it's more headshot damage but we have enough headshot damage on the build already the damage is cool so we don't need more damage um and that's that but the rest of the mods is kitted out with accuracy just trying to get the accuracy up because why not um and the magazine we could i got the five round max in there um the five rounds now you could go reload speed um but the reload is already so fast on this gun you really don't need that extra reload speed that 0.3 seconds is not really doing too much so i just took the extra five rounds all right and we went through the scorpio um i like running that it's the secondary and for the pistol we got the d50 d50 is good i got it with determined on there the pistol is in the secondary is personal preference whatever you want to run but the main thing i would say run is sr1 try that out um and see how you like that that's my favorite one but like i said it's a bunch of different snipers you can try out and play with just play with them all um, but those top three, SR1, White Death, and Model 700, probably going to be the three best ones, though. All right. Now, for the gear, we're going with the Ninja Bike. The Ninja Bike is going to allow us to unlock the second and third piece bonuses um, on the gear. I, I don't normally run it. Um, on a lot of bills 
but it works well with this build in particular um and it just got a lot better after the update when they buffed a lot of these two and three piece bonuses on the brand sets so like for the aces and eights we rocking the two piece gives us the 15 percent marksman rifle damage three piece gives us the headshot damage um on uh for the attributes we're going with the weapon damage of course and we got headshot damage um in the attribute slot and in the mod slot um so we're stacking headshot damage everywhere and the same with the gloves it's giving us um weapon damage and we just put headshot damage on it now we're going we got high shots on the knee pad um that's allowing us to get the marksman rifle damage 30 percent 30 percent weapon handling and 30 percent headshot damage um we went weapon damage for the core attribute and headshot damage um same with the holster we went more weapon damage more headshot damage just stacking headshot damage everywhere um and as well as in every mod slot we went headshot damage so that's simple now with the chest piece we went with Habsburg. Now one piece Habsburg, but the Ninja Bike unlocking that second um, bonus for us. So we got headshot damage and marksman rifle damage. 15% uh, headshot, 20% marksman rifle. Um, Habsburg comes with armor on it. That's the sad part about it. Because um, <laughs> it's hard to find one with headshot damage and headhunter already on it. So you can just roll that armor off and put weapon damage on it ideally that's what you would want to do to get the most damage out but um the damage on the build is cool it's it's i'm kind of nitpicking at that point but i would love to have it with all reds but we rocking it with headhunter um after killing the enemy with a headshot your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 125 percent of that killing blows damage damage is capped at 800 percent of your weapon damage this is raised at to 1250 percent if your headshot damage is greater than 150 um so yeah you want to have at least 150 percent headshot damage on the bill to take advantage of that raised weapon damage you get after the initial headshot kill but that's basically it man that's basically the build it's not it's not really hard to put together the hardest piece probably would be this Habsburg piece to find but all you want to do is find it with headshot damage on it and headhunter and you could even go araldi for the chest piece because the araldi gives you the 10 percent marksman rifle damage and 15 percent headshot damage and it comes with weapon damage already on it so that might be easier to find versus the house bird it's always going to come with this blue on it um but yeah you would ideally want to get this Habsburg just like this but with um weapon damage on it so yeah that's that but yeah um i'm gonna show y'all how it worked right quick now, what you want to do is before you initiate the fight you want to scout out the weakest enemy right so i like to start off the fight by finding a red guy because he's easy to kill like he easy you can rush out him with no problem so you want to headshot kill him bam now we got headhunter it's halfway stacked so one more headshot kill a fully stack it now we fully stack now you rolling now you, you body shot and everything you one shot and everything everything dead easy so you want to get those first two initial headshots to kind of get the ball rolling um, like I said, I like to start off with a red then possibly go for a purple. You probably can just body shot the purple. But if it's a yellow, you might have to headshot him um, to fully stack that headhunter. And then determine takes over and then it's just it's, it's a wrap after that because determine um, is making, you know, the body shot. So the shots landed anywhere on an enemy counting as headshots. So they just playing off each other, determined and headhunter. Um, and that's kind of how I like to run it. But yeah, man, it's a crazy build. It's fun to play with. Um, it's hella efficient when it comes to farming. When it comes to just if you're trying to just level up, get your shade level up. 
um, put on all directives all five or you can just run four um, and just run out in the world and go ham man do do control points do um public executions those two probably gonna give you the most XP because it used to be resource con resource convoys but they nerfed the XP so just do a lot of control points do um public executions those two is gonna give you the most XP um, and yeah have at it man um, now for the skills I run a fixer drone um, just to have some type of way to heal myself if you don't want to run the fixer drone you could possibly run the chem launcher the, um, the reinforced chem launcher the one that heals you that works as well I just like running the drone because you can just pop it and it follows you around you don't have to worry about it um, and the secondary I got on a scanner post but you can run the decoy is another good one um, yeah the decoy that that's that's a great one to run as well um, the reviver hive the Achilles post all those is pretty good to run it's, it's kind of whatever you want to run at that point um, but yeah that's, that's basically it man um, the build is really not too complicated like I said the hardest piece is gonna be this Habsburg but you can craft that just keep crafting them up by going countdown with the countdown build I showed y'all I'm gonna put a link in the description for that one if you missed that video but use that um, get your pieces up man put it together and go hard man go out there and have some fun with it bro like it's hella fun to play with hella efficient and um, I think y'all will enjoy it um, now I'm gonna try to do a video once a week um, going forward um, so just keep showing me love y'all keep watching the videos keep liking keep commenting let me know what y'all think about it um, um, these two bills it's the re it's a reason I, I did these two bills first um, the countdown one and this is more like an open world farming and so you can have ways to farm and level up and prepare yourself for the more elaborate stuff I have the more you know more harder bills to put together because these bills like with the gear sets and stuff is really not too hard to put together um, but yeah build it man go have some fun um, fuck with your boy man I got more crazy stuff coming um, I'm gonna leave y'all with some gameplay and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one Access unlocked. You keep going like this, those true sons. Supply convoy nearby. Reinforcements en route. 